So today I'm talking about a P0175 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0175 code? Well, it's a field trim system rich bank two. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. One thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And the other thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And this information gets reported back to the computer, which then uses the information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And for some reason, this sensor one or upstream oxygen sensor is reporting back to the computer that there's more gas than air going into the cylinders, that it's running rich, mainly on bank two, and so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooted in OI. And when you have a V6 or a V8 engine, there's gonna be two banks. Bank one is always gonna be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder, and then bank two is always gonna be the opposite side. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that side's gonna be bank one, and then the opposite side of that's gonna be bank two. And one thing about this code is it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes since it can be caused by so many different things, but I'm gonna go over all the steps that you can go and check to see to help narrow down the cause. And so what are some possible causes of a P0175? five code well the first thing that can cause this is that that bank two sensor one oxygen sensor has failed it just needs to be replaced there could be some kind of issue going on with that sensor and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer so you can go test that sensor to check to see if it has gone bad i made a video on how you go about testing the sensor one oxygen sensor i'll put a link down below if you need to check that out but the first thing that could cause this is that that oxygen sensor has just failed the next thing that can cause this problem is that there's a bad mass airflow sensor or map sensor depending on what your vehicle has Older vehicles usually only had the mass airflow sensor, but many newer ones now have the manifold absolute pressure sensor, and there can even be a mixture of what's going on sometimes. But basically that mass airflow sensor just reports back to the computer all the air that's going into the engine, and the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the cylinders. And so if that mass sensor goes bad, then it could be reporting bad information back to the computer and just throwing everything off. So you can go and check that mass sensor. I also made a video on how you go about testing these. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. Quite often when those mass sensors go bad they just need to be cleaned up it's very common that they just get dirty and just need to be cleaned back up but they can also fail but the next thing that could cause this problem is going to be a bad mass airflow sensor or manifold absolute pressure sensor the next thing that could cause is going to be a leaking fuel ejector it's just dumping too much fuel on that bank too and so there's too much gas in one of those cylinders and that's causing a rich condition and there's some different ways you could check for this one way you could check those injectors and then you can also check to see if there's high fuel pressure because high fuel pressure can also cause this issue. So you basically can check to see if either of these two things are causing it is basically to do a fuel pressure test. You get a fuel pressure gauge and you attach it to the fuel rail and you check to see what the fuel pressure is. Every vehicle is rated a little bit different on what the fuel pressure should be. So you have to look that up for your specific engine. But say it's rated to be running at 50 and for some reason it's running at 60. Then you know that fuel pressure is too high and there's some kind of issue there. And if the fuel pressure is too high, that would be something like a bad fuel pressure regulator or possibly a restricted return line or something like that. But that would need to be troubleshooted on why you have high fuel pressure. To check for a leaky injector, you turn the key off and the fuel pressure should hold. If it starts to slowly drop and go down, then you know there's some kind of issue going on there, which could be a leaky fuel injector. If you think you have a leaky fuel injector, you can also pop out the spark plugs on bank two and just check to see if one of them's running too rich. When a cylinder's running too rich, it'll be really black with a lot of soot on it. There's some spark plug burn charts you can look up online and match it to. But basically, if it's really white, then that means too lean. If it's really dark, then that means too rich. But you can take the spark plugs out on bank two just to see if one of the cylinders is running too rich. And another thing that could cause this, although not that common, is going to be if you have a bad thermostat or a coolant temperature sensor. And basically, if that thermostat's stuck open, then the engine's never going to warm up to its normal operating temperature. And if the engine's running cooler than it should, some vehicle computers will try to add more gas to the air fuel ratio mixture going into the cylinders, which can cause a rich condition. And a bad coolant temperature sensor would also cause this because the computer would be getting the wrong information and it would just be throwing everything off. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad thermostat or coolant temperature sensor. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing an engine with the P0175 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.